In this video, I'm going to go over applying textures, the different shapes of the block tool, the selection modes, and the shaping tools. Applying textures is quite simple. In the bottom left of Hammer is the texture browser. Click Browse and choose the texture you want to apply. Good starting textures for blocking out your map are the reflectivity textures and the measure generic textures. Click Apply once you've chosen a texture. Select the object or face you want to apply it to and press Shift T and the texture should apply to the block or face you selected. The selected texture will also now be used for the blocks you create until you change it. Press Shift B to use the block tool. Under this drop down menu are multiple options you can change to create various different shapes. The block tool is a default setting, very straightforward, it creates a block. The quad is a 2D plane which only has one face. The cylinder tool is used to make cylinders. Under the tool properties you can change the number of sides of the cylinder. Having more sides will make it more round and smooth, less sides will make it more blocky. The spike tool creates spikes. The sphere tool creates spheres, and on the spike and the sphere you can also change the number of sides, and like the cylinder, it will make it more or less smooth. The select modes will dictate how you select blocks. Press 5 to use the object selection mode, which allows you to select individual objects. Press 6 to use the groups mode, which allows you to select multiple objects at once that are in a group, otherwise they will all have to be selected individually one at a time. Press 3 to use the faces mode, which allows you to select the individual faces of a block. Press 2 to use the edge tool which lets you edge and select the edges of a block. This is very useful for making ramps. Just click on the edge and use the arrow keys to move it up or down. Press 1 to use the vertices tool. This tool lets you select individual vertices of a block or you can highlight over the vertices to select multiple. Using these tools you can make some wacky shapes, but be careful not to go overboard because if a shape is too complicated it might crash hammer or cause errors. And if your map is causing errors when it's building, make sure to check to see if you have any wacky shapes. The first tool I'll go over is the cut tool. Press shift X to use the tool and you can use this tool to split blocks in two. Under tool properties, the sandwich buttons change which side gets deleted and the third one keeps both sides. You want to make sure cap new surfaces is checked, otherwise there will be no faces between the blocks you split. The displacement tool lets you erode a brush in your map. Press 3 to enter the face selection mode and select the face you want to be used for the displacement. In the tool properties on the left hand side, under subdivision, you can choose the level of the subdivision grid. A lower level makes the grid larger and a higher number makes it smaller. Now press shift D to use the subdivision tool. By default the tool is set to push and pull mode, which by left clicking lets you pull the surface of a brush up, holding shift and left clicking smooths the surface flat, and holding control and left clicking lets you push the surface down. Holding the middle mouse button down and moving the mouse up and down lets you change the strength of the push or pull, and moving the mouse left to right changes the range. Those are some of the basics of geometry in Hammer. Thanks for watching, subscribe, and do everything else.